After suing her employers, a former council head who experienced PTSD after assisting the families of the Grenfell Tower fire survivors was granted a record £4.6 million settlement. After firing Rachel Wright-Turner from her £125,000 a year position, the London Borough of Hammersmith and Fulham was ordered to compensate Wright-Turner for her disability discrimination and harassment. The Employment Tribunal's decision, which concluded that senior labor-run authority executives had lied in testimony, is thought to be the largest payout of this kind against a public entity to date. Ms. Wright-Turner, 52, stated last night that although she acknowledged the amount was substantial, she had never desired to appear before a tribunal. She continued, saying that the six-year court struggle had ruined her family, her life, and her health. This case has cost us everything, stated Ms. Wright-Turner on Sunday. Before this started, I was married with two children in private school. My children have been traumatized by having to leave school, my marriage has broken down, and I'm trying to keep my house from being taken by the bank. We have practically been living off of contributions from food banks and charity since my paycheck was taken away. In 2018, Ms. Wright-Turner's employment as the Director of Public Service Reform at Hammersmith and Fulham was terminated due to her illness, namely post-traumatic stress disorder. Working with those devastated by the Grenfell Fire, which claimed 72 lives, as a humanitarian assistance lead at Kensington and Chelsea Council, she had suffered PTSD. It left a video of the disaster playing in her mind, she claimed. After that, Ms. Wright-Turner relocated to Fulham and Hammersmith. After her PTSD flared up at a meeting with supervisors in a pub, she was cleared to return to work. After having a panic attack, she was brought to the hospital. The tribunal heard that after this event on May 2, 2018, top council officers falsely claimed to colleagues that she had been intoxicated prior to being brought to A&E. The tribunal heard that Ms. Wright-Turner had received a separate diagnosis of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD. Kim Smith, the previous chief executive of the council, stated that Ms. Wright-Turner's brain doesn't work like other people's after learning of the diagnosis. When Ms. Wright-Turner was recruited, Ms. Smith inquired as to whether she had revealed that she had ADHD. While on sick leave, she was fired without having an opportunity to contest or discuss the decision. The tribunal found that Ms. Smith and the HR director of the council at the time had misled the tribunal about Ms. Wright-Turner's notification that her probation would be extended earlier that day when she was admitted to the hospital. After learning that Ms. Smith will take a leave of absence for her mental health, it was determined that she had made her choice. It was also decided that Ms. Smith and HR Director Mark Grimley had colluded to falsify her termination letter so it would seem to have been signed prior to her filing a grievance against the council. In order to preclude any inference that this decision was in any way connected with the claimant's mental health or related sickness absence, the tribunal panel stated that her termination letter made no reference to her PTSD or ADHD. I don't think they knew how closely I'd been dealing with the family in the aftermath of Grenfell, stated Ms. Wright-Turner. They handled my PTSD as though I was being a drama queen. She acknowledged that the council taxpayers would have to pay for her prize, but she felt compelled to attempt to clear her name. This award may seem large to the public, but I would give every penny back to make it not happen, she stated. I thought I would just walk away with a redundancy payment, but they wanted me to walk away with nothing. The £4.6 million prize works out to £25 for each citizen living in Hammersmith and Fulham. In the event that the payment is not received before the end of this month, interest at the rate of 8% annually, or £302,500, will be charged. Ms. Wright-Turner was represented by Peter Daly of Doyle Clayton, and he stated that the award took into account the severe injury that she sustained as a result of Hammersmith and Fulham's unlawful conduct. Although Hammersmith and Fulham expressed regret for Ms. Wright-Turner's hardship, they stated that they will appeal the ruling because they had always considered her claim to be vastly excessive, disputed, and highly unprecedented.
ITV News statistics show that a global settlement of compensation claims submitted by those impacted by the 2017 Grenfell Tower catastrophe has been authorized, totaling £150 million. Attorneys for grieving families reported that a settlement was achieved after about 900 cases. Cladding Behemoth Arconic said that it was one among the companies that had consented to the settlement and was a party to the High Court case. Two-thirds of the individuals who either survived or were impacted by the Grenfell catastrophe have demonstrated symptoms that indicate they need to receive treatment for post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, according to additional data published in The Guardian. A significant risk of subsequent trauma was also disclosed in the paper.